still watch him. What's going on? Can't believe he's still pulling this shit. Even though he used to this all the time when we were younger. Our mum. She left us. Went to bed one night, she was there. Woke up in the morning and she was gone. It's difficult. But it's all. It had a different effect on Alex. He loved it. The drama of it all. Just like this. Ever since then, he's never been able to do his new cold. Dad would say it was time for bed and he'd pack a stupid little case and pretend to leave. It's like he was trying to mimic what she did. It's funny at that age. But then he got older and he could leave. Go stay with friends for a few nights. He'd always hear from him eventually. Has he spoken to anyone? Made any contact? No. He has to pull this shit, even now. Life's gotten tough and he's run off. I heard he was seeing someone. Makes sense. She's wanted something serious and Alex doesn't know how to deal with things like that. No. I can't tell you any names. But what I can tell you as Alex would have had her exactly where he wanted her. Now he doesn't want to see it through.
sorry. I make shit tea. So will I just start? Can you hear me all right? <laughs> sorry. I met him in work. We had something. A relationship? No. Not really. I'm not his biggest fan. I don't hate him. I just... Hate's a strong word. Alex wasn't the nicest. Knew exactly what he was doing. Liked to have you exactly where he wanted you. Didn't really work with me though. That's what was different. With me it was like he kind of met his match. Look, I wouldn't be surprised if he turns up in a week. He does this. Loves it. Loves the attention he gets. Like this, right now. Us talking about it. He'll thrive off the worry and panic he's causing everyone. He always wants people to look at him, talk about him. Maybe it'll do him some good. People say that, right? Sometimes something bad has to happen so that good things can. Listen, I don't know anything about what's happened. If something bad has happened, then I hope he's alright. But I don't know anything about what's going on. I wish I did. Just let me know if you hear anything. B. It's wild what folk get up to these days, right? My ex, right? She had this stalker. Well, he wasn't so much a stalker as he was a peeping Tom, but he was a really persistent one, right? And apart from breaking it up in arguments, she just never really seemed to mind. Which is baffling to me, frankly. I mean, I don't know about you, but my bedroom is my safe haven. Someone's spying on me and you just don't mind. Like, what? And it doesn't stop there either, you know? I think that I'm safe from all these things because, you know, I'm living on the top floor, you know? You want people on me, you need a big fucking ladder. But, as I say, we're not safe anymore, man. People have ways of finding out exactly what they need to. I work in IT, right? I know it sounds a bit tinfoil hat, but trust me, it's the truth. Sorry, I know I'm ranting, but I'm a bit fucked if I'm honest. <laughs> What'd you say your name was again? Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Are you on your own? Yeah. Okay. What's this about? Um, okay, so um, I'm hoping just to put people's mind at rest with everything that's been going on recently, you know, just to clarify a few things. I know it's been an unsettling time for you, for us all, with the police investigation. So I just want to clarify some things in relation to 
Mm. Have you spoken to the police? Maybe. Have you? Yes. I don't see how that's got anything to do with you. Well, we've made the decision. We've made the decision in the best interest of the company that management will continue to comply with the investigation, of course. But we are asking colleagues to allow us the room to do that. So you're silencing us? I'm just doing what I've been asked to do. Unbelievable. Listen. Listen, this is strictly off the record. I know what you think happened and you know what I think, but that's just speculation. We don't need to bring work into this. So do us all a favour and keep that to yourself. Because the last thing we want is the police sniffing around here any more than they already have. We don't need that. You're kidding, right? We can't hide anything from the police. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm just asking you not to involve us in it. So that's exactly what you're asking? Listen, any questions? Any questions, take that up with management. Okay. Fine. I will. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll let you get back to it. Okay. How do you always get up so early? To come back to bed. What are you doing? Where did that come from? I've never seen it before. I've been here enough times, I think I would have noticed it. What are you looking at? Why are you always like this in the morning? It's like something just changes overnight. Is this you trying to put me off? I know you don't want a relationship. That's fine, neither do I. I'm way too busy for that. We both know this is just casual. There's no need to be weird about it. Fine. I'll just go. Really? Is something seriously more important right now? I guess I'll just see you at work. You know, there's no need to be such a dick. Do you still watch him? Because these are the kind of things that we need to know. I need to make sure that you're safe. Your safety is my first concern.
Okay, how's your internet usage been? Because you know, we do monitor all of that. We know how much you're using it and what you might be using it for. Okay, we don't need to talk about any of this. You know, we can just take our time in these sessions. But I do think that it would be beneficial for yourself and for your progression if we're able to communicate in these sessions. Because if we aren't, then there are alternative methods that we can use. There are different treatments that can help you. But we need to know what's going to work for you. Okay. If we can't communicate in these sessions, then this isn't going to work. And we might have to explore different options. Do you understand? Okay. Hiya, I'm just getting ready to go. Do you need a lift? It's pouring outside. We said today, right? I mean, I would have messaged to make sure, but the new job's been mental. I thought we were going to see Dad today. Last time we spoke, Alex. No, it's fine. I'll go. But you'll come with me next time, right? Are you okay? Well, I'm not being funny, but that's why we said we we're going to do it together. Obviously, this is going to be hard. God, you don't get it sometimes, do you? I actually want you to be there for me. That's not what Dad would have wanted, and you know it. Sorry. I just didn't think I was going to be doing this alone. Yes, I'm still going to go. Yes, I got the white ones. All right. So when am I going to see you next? And how did you get an invite to that? Obviously, I'm going to be there. Okay. We could grab a drink or something before. We'll see what happens. Right, I better go. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Right, bye.
trying, Dad. Honestly, I am. But it's so hard without you. <laughs> Miss you so much. I'll come back soon, okay? Love you. Look, I really don't know what happened, okay? I don't really know the guy. I don't really remember speaking to him either. If I'm honest, I was really fu- Intoxicated. <sighs> Alright, um... I woke up at about 10, I guess. Uh, I had a shower, I had some breakfast, and then I went to work for my 12 o'clock shift. It's a good thing about IT, you know, the hours are pretty good. Um, yeah, I was there until about half past six, went home, had a shower, had a smoke, and then I left to go to the party. Um, I would have left about half past eight. Got there just after nine, would have got there sooner, of course, but um, I had to buy booze on the way. Yeah, uh, I was there from then on. Um, either in the kitchen, probably, smoking, or <laughs> or in the living room, chatting shite, more likely than not. I don't remember if Alex was there already. Um, <laughs> well, apparently we had a conversation, but I don't remember that either. I'm not great with details, especially when I'm intoxicated. Um, yeah, I, w I got sleepy about half one, I reckon. Got some food on the way home. Fried chicken. Mm. Sorry, um, yeah, yeah, so I left the party, got some food, and then I was home. By about 10 to 2 and that's all that happened I swear <sighs> how well I mean <sighs> I mean we work in different floors different departments he's one of the few people upstairs that never seems to ask me for any help you know Half of them barely know how to use a computer, and the ones that do are constantly downloading viruses or whatever when they're trying to sneak onto Facebook. But... But no, he, he was always fine. All of his system checks came back clean. Squeaky clean, in fact. So, yeah. Um, I don't know him. I wouldn't even say we were friends. I mean, we're not we're not enemies. It's not a bad you know. It's not like a bad thing. There's no bad blood. We we've got a couple of mutual friends, you know. So we bump into each other on nights out, um, or parties, have the odd conversation, share a couple of spliffs maybe, but but nothing more. And I'm sorry if that's not what you want to hear, but it's the truth. I know what people are saying, at least, in the office. But whatever it was, you know, that happened. Uh, a kidnapping, uh, an abduction, uh, a voluntary flight? Is that what you call it? Sorry, I'm, I'm not up on the lingo. Um, but whatever it is, I can't help you. Sorry. You know, on telly, they get lawyers for things like this.
Takes you by surprise. And Alex seemed happy enough, you know, so it's. Aye, right. it's a bit of a shock. And, you know, I don't like to talk about it, but. But if he has, you know. To himself, you know, then. And like I say, I feel sorry for the family. Because, you know, that's a son or a brother or, you know, so. What are you playing at? This isn't a game anymore, Alex. We've had conversations like this before. You're aware of procedure. You can't keep going AWOL. Listen. There's a meeting later on regarding departmental reshuffling. And we're coming to the decision to move you. This decision hasn't been taken lightly, but I'm sure you can agree that it's necessary. Any concerns, raise that with management upstairs, but don't keep making excuses. Listen, this transfer's a lifeline for you. Don't mess it up. Have I made myself clear? Have I made myself clear? Good. Take the rest of the day off. Sorry, your head out. Someone will be in touch. Hi. 
Hi, can you hear me okay? Yeah, um, yeah, I basically just, um, thank you so much for calling me back, by the way. I just wanted um, to ask your opinion on one of my patients. Um, they've missed their last five, maybe six appointments, and um, I'm just a bit concerned about them and just wanted your advice, really. They've, uh, yeah, it, yes, yes, it's the same patient um, as before. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so they've paranoia, um, they have delusions, psychosis, they're definitely psychotic episodes, um, and they've come quite obsessed recently. Uh, they, yeah, I would say a form of scopophobia as well. I, I think the more that we've gotten to know each other, yeah. Uh, bas basically, all it is is, I mean, the last session we had made me feel quite uneasy and they were just being really very erratic and that's really uncharacteristic for them so that kind of had me concerned um, and then they just if I'm honest they just made me feel a little bit uneasy and, and and that's all it really was but now that they've not shown up for their appointments and I can't get hold of them and um, yeah I can't get in touch oh sorry sorry <sighs> Sorry about that, I dropped my earphones. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, yeah, I'm just getting a bit worried that they're out there and can't get in touch with them or no one can get in touch with them and I just really wanted your advice on what I should do really. Um, yeah, yeah, all of our, um, sessions are documented, I've got all that tape, so what do you think I should do then? See the thing is Alex, all these gov countries and governments now, they're, they're, they're boasting about all the access they have into our lives, you know? I've got one of these Chinese phones, right? The Chinese government's probably got a data bank of all the porn I've watched in the last four years somewhere, but it doesn't stop there either, right? Code words, trigger words, shit like that, right? You say the wrong thing at the wrong time, all of a sudden, bam, the government's got access to every single thing you have. And they can call it security and safety and say that they're doing it to keep us all, you know, away from harm. But really, they're just peeping toms with a license, you know what I'm saying? It's fucked.
cake. I am. Hey, hold up. Okay. Spoke to the police again. They came round. Yeah, they were around here yesterday. Because of the party? Yeah. Well, did they see anything? Did they see what they think might have happened? No, they were just... They were just asking me what I remembered, sort of thing. Um, retracing my steps of the evening. They reckon I was the last person your brother spoke to. I, I don't remember, though. I was hammered. Was that it? Aye. They didn't give anything away. Did you say much? Like I said, I was hammered. Couldn't remember much, so I couldn't say much. You're good at that. What? Not saying much. <laughs> well, I work in IT, you know? Comes with the territory. Shut up. You're more than that. I've seen your dance skills, remember? Yeah, one time. You've never let me live it down either. I was thinking. Uh-huh. Listen, I know what you've been doing on the side. And maybe you could try... No way. Well, if the police won't tell me anything, maybe you could find something out. Are you asking me to go snooping around in the police's hard drives? Because if you are, I don't think either of us are going to like what I find. I know it sounds daft. <laughs> so, if, if they catch me, I'll look guilty as hell. And if they find out that you're the one that asked me, then you'll look guilty as hell as well. Now, I'm not saying you are, but at the moment, as far as the police are concerned, anyone's a suspect. So we don't need to give any more attention to ourselves, you know? Sorry. It's fine. It's just, I hate this. No one's telling me anything. I, I don't have a clue what's going on. It, I don't want you involved. I know. There was some support right there. But with everything that's going on, I just don't think now's the best time, you know? <laughs> Might look a bit strange if I tell the police I've got nothing to do with it and then leave my girlfriend for the missing person's sister. Sister. How is she? She's fine. She thinks this is bringing us closer together. I think she's enjoying the attention, if I'm honest. I know it sounds like... Sorry. It's the last thing I'm needing. I miss you. I miss you too. And I'm here if you need me, even if it doesn't seem like it. Shit, I better go though. Um, I'll speak to you soon, okay? Yeah. I'll speak to you soon.
Hi, um, I'm just wanting to see if you have um, forgotten about your appointment today or um, you're just running late. It's um, 15 minutes after you were supposed to arrive and I haven't heard from you. I'll try you again. It's, it's, I'm just a bit concerned it's the second meeting you've missed. Okay, um, please call the office. Okay. Okay, I'll uh, I'll run through it again one more time for the top, just to keep you happy. All right. I was Alex's boss. We worked together. Alex was moved to a different department. Did we speak? It was a professional relationship. We spoke when we had to. Other than that, it was just the usual. Hello, how's your day been? That sort of thing. We'd email, if that's anything to go on. But I'm sure you've already had a rake through that, haven't you? Are you not that? Do I think there was something odd about him? Yeah. We all do. That's why you're wasting your time asking me these questions. Everyone in the office would tell you the same. Alex was weird. Didn't say much. So is it fair to assume we didn't really know anything about him? Yeah. So it's no surprise someone like that could just disappear. Quite easily, actually. Was Alex hiding something from us? Well, nobody knows. Not even you. That has really got to annoy you, hasn't it? I mean, come on, ask anyone. But you, uh, you haven't asked anyone. You've only asked me. So what I want to know is, why well, you are wasting so much time asking me these questions when someone's just disappeared and I'm more interested than you. So any other questions, take it up with my management and leave me 
and my staff alone. I'm sure you've got the contact details. Reiki, they told him it was going to be all right. Helped him through it, you know. That's a simile, they say. You know, because that's what folk are saying he, he did. I'll tell you something, you know, I don't like to talk about it. Uh, I don't think that's what happened at all, you know. I don't think he, he was murdered or kidnapped or he ran off with. I don't. And I don't think he was paranoid either. I think people are paranoid if that's what they're saying, you know. But if he has actually put himself, then... And like I say, he's a... I feel sorry for the family. Is this really necessary? I just wanted to add on a few things. I think the last time we spoke I was just shocked. Now I understand it more. I just wanted to say that Alex was kind. He was a genuine person. Sure, he rubbed people up the wrong way sometimes, but only for a laugh. And then he'd apologise. We had our ups and downs, yeah, but everyone does. I want him to know that he can come home. I want to know that he's safe. I want to help. I want to get him the help if he needs it. Hi, hi, um, I think I might have some information for the missing person case on the news. Yes, I, I just saw it. I'm, I'm a therapist and I think I might have some information for you. Yeah, no, no, uh, no, don't put me on hold. Uh, it's important. I think I need to speak to someone directly. Please, could you just put someone? No, I, I don't want to fill out an incident report form. This is important. I think one of my patients might have done something bad. Or had something to do with it. I, I don't know.
Sí. Sounded like a bitch, didn't I? Cold, like I didn't care. But we both grew up in that house. And I didn't turn into an arrogant prick. Sorry. It's just... It was an unexpected behaviour from Alex. Last time I saw him was a week past on Tuesday. I didn't have any classes or meetings and surprisingly Alex had asked to go for lunch. We still see each other. He is my brother. It's just usually me who makes most of the effort. But it was normal. He spent half the time either ranting about things I'd done or looking around to see who was staring at him, fixing his hair. He always has something to say, my brother. Moaning about things I'd put on Instagram, yet it was actually a rare occasion to see him without a phone in his hand. Really, the issue is me getting any attention. He texts me a couple of days later, asking the restaurant we'd went to. I'd picked it. It was a nice place in the West End. We'd sat outside. I assumed he wanted to take the new girl, or whatever he calls it. That was the last I heard anything. I'm sorry, but. What's this got to do with it all? Has something else happened? Have you found out anything? Hi, hi. Um, yes, like I said to your colleague, I'm um, a therapist and one of my patients hasn't been coming to their sessions. I've tried to get a hold of them um, and I, I think they may have something to do with this missing person. I don't know why I just... The last time I spoke to them I reviewed the footage of our session and they just said something. I think they might have known this person and I think I just think it could be connected and I, I need to speak with you and, and show you what's on that tape. Thank you.
Okay, well, I think that's enough for today's session. I'm just going to step out for a moment and get those forms for you. Um, I'll, be, I'll be back in a second. What are you looking at? This isn't a game. More like a peeping tall. that we monitor all of your internet usage. You're watching this. We don't need them sniffing around any more than they already have. I really didn't know him that well. We can see. time are you spending online? We can't hide anything. You've probably already had a good rake through that, haven't you? I always thought I'd be safe from that sort of thing. Looking around to see who was staring at him. 